Hello everybody, uh, we've got another Clean Water Systems instructional video for you today. Uh, today we're going to be discussing our Model 400 chlorine pellet feeder. Um, we basically have it plumbed up to a system here. We've got a spin down inlet filter with a solenoid valve. Our pressure tank, this is the Model 400 chlorinator here. And we have a one cubic foot uh, carbon uh, filter system downstream of the, of the chlor chlorinated pellet feeder with uh, a manual backwash valve. I wanted to show a little close up here of this uh, Model 400 pellet feeder. So uh, we have an inlet and outlet shutoff valve with a bypass loop. Uh, this is really, um, we highly recommend you set it up this way. That way you're able to uh, isolate it off when you're servicing it and still have water to the house. You also definitely need a drain valve here to vent the pressure on this uh, when you're servicing it. When you receive the Model 400 from us, uh, you'll have the actual pellet feeder unit here itself with the tube and the cap inside. Comes with fittings. You've got three quarter inch MPT fittings that you can use or you can glue down inch and a half or to one inch PVC. There's an O-ring here that seats these guys right in here. We also send you an extra tube and cap because these get corroded and you'll have to clean them when you service this. You can just have one already fresh ready to install. And a wrench that fits to the top of the cap. You'll also receive uh, instructions on setting this up and how to calculate uh, the uh, amount of settings that you need for your chlorine. The way you're going to receive this is going to be set up. Your adjustments are going to be made through these flow holes in your tube and your cap. This is for uh, use in a varying pressure system like a well pump. Um, there's going to be some things that you're going to have to uh, calculate. You're going to need to know first of all the amount of iron you're trying to remove. And then there are several variables involved in this process too. The size of your pressure tank, uh, the reaction time of your pump, the type of pump you have. All these things come into play in determining uh, the uh, setting that you're going to use on this. Again, this is for a variable type system, variable pressure. Uh, this valve here does absolutely nothing for you. It's just a blank valve. All the adjustments are here. If you have a steady, if you're going to use this in a system that has steady pressure, you can receive, we, we uh, special order these guys, and you're going to swap this out with this, and then and this will actually make this a functional valve. And to do that, there's a little clip down in here. You just remove the little clip, pop that clip out, and then that valve will come out, and you can put the other valve in. For the center tube and the cap, those just press on as well. As you can see, this guy just presses down into here, and then your cap goes on. As I mentioned before, there are different size holes at different heights on this tube. That's the way this system works. So you can see you want to set it on the hole. There's little, and uh, you can't see them here on the camera. Let's see if I can get them. Yeah, you can. Okay, so there's different uh, numbers and letters here. 321 and CBA. So depending on where you line that up to that hole is going to depend, that's going to uh, determine the amount of uh, chlorine that you're going to get between every, at every pump cycle. And again, that's, you're going to use this to, to figure that out after you figure out your iron and your uh, pressure tank size and all of those variables, you'll find out where to set that. Again, what you set your setting on what you're going to set it on. Right now I'm going to set this on B. We've got the center hole showing. Go ahead and pop that down in there. So depending on your water usage, you probably end up servicing this uh, three to four times a year. Um, again, we wanted to make it very clear for potable water, you definitely want to use the uh, you only want to use the calcium chloride uh, tablets uh, in these units. So and uh, also be aware, you know, this is real uh, toxic stuff. So you want to make sure you have face shield gloves. Don't breathe the dust. So anyway, when it comes time to service it, what you'll do is go ahead and isolate your inlet and outlet. Go ahead and you can open your bypass up so you'll still have water going to the house, just not with a chlorine feeder. 
Make sure you vent that pressure. If you go to loosen this lid, loosen something up and it doesn't come loose, uh, you know, there could, could still be under pressure and that's really dangerous. So what we recommend is actually removing the unit from the system. So again, you have these screw things here for, on your fittings. So you can go ahead and just unthread that off of there and then you'll end up just removing your system itself. Uh, we recommend then put it into a bucket. You can rinse this all out. You're going to want to go ahead, these tubes and caps get gummed up. So you're going to want to go ahead, but that's why we give you a spare second one so you've always got a backup. So you can just take this guy apart, put it in some uh, white vinegar overnight and soak it, and then clean it back out and store it for the next time you need to use it. And the other thing we recommend, uh, about every three or four times you service this, or once a year-ish, go ahead and pull this cap off. And what it'll do, it exposes this little nut here. You can unthread that and replace this O-ring that seats in here. Because uh, these guys do get kind of soft and gummy after a year or so. And one more thing I wanted to uh, mention, when you are putting your tablets in here, make sure you don't go up above this point here at the bottom of the cap. So you don't want to cover the holes. So you're only going to fill it up to this line, no, no higher than this line right here. When you're loading your uh, pellet feeder, the pellets come in a 2.2 pound bag, something like this. Um, go ahead and add one bag to the feeder to, for the startup. Um, if you want to go ahead, you can fill it all the way up. Like the instructions say, don't go above this line right here, this cap, the bottom of the cap. Uh, totally full is about three and a half pounds, but you're good to go with just one bag at 2.2 pounds. So just go ahead and put that in to, for your startup. And I wanted to show you this manual uh, backwash uh, valve. It basically has three positions uh, in service and the backwash and then the rapid rinse. So uh, very straightforward. You have an inlet and an outlet and then you have your drain that comes out the back here. Again, this is our clean water system model 400 pellet feeder chlorinator. Uh, that's all for today. Thanks.